Hey there. Hey, Jim Jackson here, family pastor at Heritage Baptist Church. I have had the privilege for the past several years of getting to work in the children's ministry here. Uh, I get to work with great people like Lauren and Billy and Sean. Um, I count it a privilege of God to do what I get to do. Uh, I guess what prompted me to share with you today was just a few days ago, my youth pastor, his name was Jim Baldwin, passed away. And I got to be a part of his funeral service. And I had to be very selective of what I said that day because I had so many stories of his influence on my life. In fact, I'm a follower of Jesus today because of Jim Baldwin. He, God brought him to my little church when I was a, just a young person. And his influence, his walk with Jesus, his teaching me and loving me, God used so that I would trust Christ and I would follow him the rest of my life. In fact, God, for these past 40 years, has used me, and I say this in all humbleness, but in children or young people's lives, either teaching in Sunday school, the fifth and sixth graders, in young people, vacation Bible school, or wherever. In fact, I can remember when I came to Christ, I said, God, use me any way you want. And this is what he has chosen. And I can't think of any greater thing. In fact, I cannot tell you the many blessings. I've seen young people trust Christ over the years. I've seen when the Spirit of God opens up their heart and they read a scripture in their life, they realize what this means for the first time. He's talking to me. Uh, I've gotten to see uh, children and young people grow up and get married and see their families. In fact, I've gotten to teach children of young people that I had in my youth group. I can't think of doing anything else. In fact, I've gotten to see some of them married. I've gotten to be a part of their weddings. I've then gotten to bury some of those children and young people as well. And every bit of it, the happy and the sad has been the greatest privilege I can ever imagine having. And I'm grateful to God for that. And I guess I say that because I've seen the blessings of giving my life and teaching scripture and trying to be an influence in young people's lives as an incredible blessing and it has been. In fact, I cannot think of anything else I would rather do. In fact, I plan on doing this until the day I die. And that's why I'm asking you today, would you consider and would you pray with us as a ministry team? The ministry of to children here at Heritage needs some people that God is calling that would step in and be teachers and leaders and helpers and influencers of the next generation. And if God is putting that on your heart, would you please talk with us? Maybe ask us questions. Honestly, there's no pressure from us. We want God to call people who want and have a desire to invest in the next generation. Because you know the leaders at Heritage are in our children's Sunday school and our student ministry right now. And we need to invest in the next generation. It's not only our privilege, honestly, it is our duty to make disciples and raise up the next generation. Listen, if you have any desire in your heart at all, and you sense God's calling you, would you please give us a call? Come talk to us. Again, no pressure from us. We want what God wants for you. Thanks again for stopping by and listening for this little bit. God bless you.